Hi, and welcome to the Chris Palmer Record. Today, we're going to be talking to one of my favorite Cytrons producers based in Italy, Tony Off-Label Vandini. Um, uh, how's things going there? When did you do the... Yeah, in Italy, it's going... We are in good health, and that okay. is, that's the important for us. And uh, about music, you know, uh, it's not easy at the moment, mm. but... Um, I I want to go forward because I have lots of idea in the studio. I love lots of new tracks, and uh, something is moving uh, around uh, Paris or uh, Switzerland, and uh, something little uh, little party in Italy. Yes, okay. and uh, I'm very happy. Yeah, we are restarting. It's my birthday tomorrow, and I'm playing my second gig of the year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember. I remember by the, the text of yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's a small party, maybe 200 people, but it will be fun, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and what I mean, about uh, what about big party in your country or festivals? Um, or? So, so I'm booked to play Vortex in December, but I think they only allowed 500 people at the moment. 500? Yeah. Okay. But Grant has booked me, so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, hey, I haven't been there for two years now. Yo, I've missed it. <laughs> but at the moment, you you are going with legal party or illegal? Yeah, legal. Party? Yeah, legal. Yeah, legal. Yeah. yeah, because in Italy we have no regulation at the moment okay. Okay. about parties. Okay, that means all the parties are illegal. Ah, I see. Here. Okay, all the parties are are illegal. But something yeah. is is coming out about from the government, and uh, I trust uh, I trust uh, in the end of the October, yeah. okay. maybe we'll have a regulation. One uh, month and a half. Up until two weeks ago, we were only allowed two fifty max, and outdoors only, um, and indoors half, I think hundred or half capacity. If it ah, was okay. smaller, yeah. And okay. then and then not this Sunday, but the Sunday before they changed it back to 500 because our third wave has gone down again. Yeah. Okay, okay, better. Mm. Better, that's better. Yeah. But I'm double vaccinated, so I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I understand. I got my vaccines, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you, you getting yeah. vaccines or not? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I have okay. I have my green pass and yeah. my wife also and the kids know because my the the the, the older one the, uh, is a, she have uh, two year and half and the, and the second one he has eight months. Oh wow, they both young. Yeah, yeah, very young. Mine, yeah, mine, yeah. mine is turning thirteen in two weeks. Thirteen. Oh yeah. wow, cool. Very cool. And male a teenager. Male. male. Um, his name is Luke. Male. And he ah. plays the saxophone already for five years. He's, he's a very okay. good musician. Oh, cool. Yeah, a very good musician, yes. And now cool. I started to teach him Ableton. So I'm giving him a keyboard for his birthday. And I've started to teach him Ableton, yeah. yeah. Wow. So it's exciting, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got an old <laughs> Roland S10. Do you remember the S10? Uh. <laughs> yeah, the, the first sampling Whoa. keyboard. Um, so yeah. I, I'm giving him that because uh, it's a nice keyboard to play on. And then he can, I've got, I've given him a little MIDI controller so he can, he can uh, DJ and he can play. So yeah, it's quite exciting. And he can produce. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow, cool. Uh, Very good. Yeah. Then, then I've got to start teaching him how to play keys because he hasn't played keys before. He can play sax. But he hasn't played keys before, so yeah. Yeah, it will it would be great to play yeah. or to share something together, your keys. Yes. Your... We've written we've written a track together before and he can sing, but his voice is breaking at the moment. So I'm waiting till his voice settles. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So we'll see. Wow. Yeah, yeah it's cool. <laughs> at 13, yes, I wish I was able to do that at 13. Ooh. He's very talented. Yeah. So tell me about your process in the studio and and how you start. So sure. yeah, the for, uh, you mean the first the first uh, question. Yes. Yeah. So so how do you start to produce a track in the studio? So um, 
for me to produce a track means uh, four main steps. Four main steps that make your kick bass and your drums and leave the space in the middle of the analyzer where the synths uh, will go. Then, uh, then you go on the sound design and you became to tweak uh, the control on your synths, on your gear, and, uh, um, and let's start to produce your sounds, your sounds that will that they will go in a folder yes and i know you like to use the virus right yeah i have the virus so and yeah. uh, and uh, in the second question i i will tell you about okay, my cool. favorite okay. year yeah cool. so when uh, um, because when i i make some design i think mm -hmm. forward i need this to do that i need this sound to do that i need this one to do that and uh, in my mind i have the idea of what i'm going to produce because when i start to produce a, a track i have before my idea in my mind to do this kind of track like i i give you an example uh i want to go in uh, g sharp at 149 or 148 and I want to give a morning touch, for example. And uh, when I start to produce my synths, I think with this mindset. Yeah. Then, uh, then when you record all the sounds, you have a folder with all these sounds and then you go to the arrangement. Because, uh, you know, you can go for the post-production because if you have a loop, and you cut the loop, uh, make time stretching, uh, reverts, uh, and uh, and then you can obtain uh, another sound from uh, yes, yeah, lip yeah. Soon, uh, loop yeah. synth. And then yeah. uh, that's the funny part for me, the arrangement, because uh, you uh, you can be creative and you can be um, what what you think to be, and uh, and then mixing. Then mixing when do, when you think because you decide when when uh, when the arrangement is finished you decide so okay for me it's good mm. and then you go to the mixing and you will decide again when the mix is finished yes, yeah. <laughs> because because mix can be open for life I think yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, arrangement also can be open yeah. for life. But yeah. you decide when this finish, and uh, let's go to the yeah. next uh, track. Yeah. Yeah, and 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 a friend told me uh, a few years ago: if you release a track, people will tell you what they think. You don't have to worry about it so much yourself. You know, if you release a track, people will tell you, and they will let you know, and they will let you yeah. know if they like it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, but uh, I think uh, in this way, I think that. Uh, um, our learning process mm. uh, is uh, is infinite, infinite, yes, yes. never never ending. Yes, never, yeah, never 100%. ending. Yeah. And if you listen to your production uh, uh, three years ago, mm. you, oh wow! Uh, now I'm forward. And uh, what kind of shit I was making <laughs> before? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that. Too. that that's it. That, yeah. That's the the evolution of an artist, I think. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's very yeah. true. Yeah. Um, what do you find in your process the difference between the sound design itself and the musicality, the music side? You you have a which is your strongest, you think? Um no, I enjoy uh, both. Both. Okay. I enjoy both. Okay. Yeah, okay. I enjoy both because uh, yeah. because I I learned about music with a musician twenty years ago, mm. uh, piano. Mm. piano. Okay. And then yeah. I enjoy to play piano and to to play music. Mm. So then in nineteen ninety five I started to play DJ uh, mm. with turntables because yes. uh, yeah 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 and uh, and then. This for me means uh, do music or DJ set or play the piano. And yes. then when you make your arrangement, uh, is uh, mm -hmm. 
yes, it's a kind, is a is a part of to do music. Yes, a piece. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a piece to do yeah. music. Yeah, and uh, I enjoy both. I enjoy okay. both because sound design is is a is a means do music. Mm, yeah. Music, sound yeah. design. Yeah, you're, you're yeah. choosing waves, uh, not scales, but yes. you're choosing waves yes. and filters, and you know. Yeah. 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 So I'm I'm similar to you. I also started piano when I was ten. So now, but I haven't been playing piano for a long time because my piano is out of tune. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I need to tune it. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So also for a long time, been playing piano, and then. Um, and also, I started DJing a year after you, so 1996 I started. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. We have similar story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so now tell me the second question of, of how, what's your favorite gear? What is yeah. what do you like to use? Yeah. What's your favorite gear? I like yeah. so much this this question because yeah. I think uh, uh, each artist has his favorite gear. Yeah. And uh, if you if you listen to many many artists, your head mm -hmm. become to explode to blast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because because also everything is infinite. Your... Eh? Everything is infinite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyway, my favorite is uh, uh, is is still uh, the virus Ti2 mm -hmm. because uh, uh, I found uh, yes okay uh, it's a ten years old machine mm -hmm. and that's true. Mm -hmm. But it's a DSP machine, and mm -hmm. uh, it's it's um, it have inside uh, a lot of power. Yeah, of power. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That means that uh, if you do with a VST, because I use also VST. Yeah. But do it to the virus is a, a DSP machine and and has a card, a sound card inside. Mm -hmm. You can. You can process other yes. sources yes. with the virus, with the filters or with the saturation. Yeah. And I found the virus saturation is very, very strong and powerful because uh, give uh, a particular color yeah. to your sound. Yeah. Yeah. Then when I use virus, okay, I trim the virus uh, controls and uh, uh, what I am searching for, what I am searching for, and then that's it. But mm -hmm. if I use, for example, a uh, uh, serum or yes. uh, something else, mm -hmm. I take the output from the sound card of the computer, yeah. put inside the virus, and they use another computer as a recorder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As a recorder, then yeah. I process inside yeah. the virus. Yeah. The, uh, for example, in, in this case, we we told uh, the serum mm -hmm. process the sound, and uh, for me, the serum sound it uh, bring it. Uh, yes, it bring bring the virus color. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. I no, like that. that's the virus is 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 the most powerful machine and is my favorite because I use yeah. it not yeah. only for as a synth but yes. or, uh, as a, a, a part of the process a piece yes. of the process yes. for the audio. Yeah, yeah. yeah. found very interesting. Yeah, so I have I have a, a Juno sixty with no MIDI on it, so I have to play it live. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's the old Roland Juno sixty, so that's interesting. And then, but with Ableton, it's become easy to manipulate. You see, so it's easy. Yeah, to play yeah, it sure, live. Yeah. sure. Because yeah. I use I use also Ableton because yeah. the next yeah. question I remember is what yeah. uh, what gear you use to perform yeah. live. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Before to to tell about the gear, I want mm -hmm. to say uh, I want to say everybody, and especially to the new generation, that mm -hmm. when you are in your studio, you are the music, you are the producer. But yes. when you go yeah. on stage, you are the performer. Yeah, and it's not the same thing. No, not at all. So I agree with you. One hundred percent. Not it's even completely close. Completely yeah. different. Yeah. So the yeah. first piece of the gear is the mindset. Be yeah. a performer yeah. on stage. Mm. Then, when you have this, I have my laptop with Ableton Live mm -hmm. that I, I set as um, as the deck one and deck and deck two of the of the DJ boot. Yeah. So 
I have <clears throat> all the tracks for the deck one in the track one and all the decks for the track uh, all the tracks for the deck two in the track two of the Ableton. And then I didn't listen to you. Are you hearing? Ah, okay. Did I hear? okay. Oh, yeah. okay cool. And then, and then, um, these two tracks means the decks, the right mm -hmm. side and the left side of the yeah. of the yeah. console. Mm -hmm. So, so then I have a, a third channel. Yeah. To use for the FX sense, mm -hmm. and uh, and I mix the my FX that become from Ableton Live uh, from the controller yeah. on the third channel. And uh -huh. you can use the solo, the third channel, mm -hmm. or make funny funny things because you yeah. mix the FX with the tracks. You can yeah. go yeah. all two tracks up and then you mix the third channel. You, yeah. you can go interesting for yeah. interesting things, yeah. I think. And then I have the little one, the oxygen, M audio oxygen. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Is that too yeah, obvious? Yeah, I know it. When I travel, uh, you know, you have your backdrop and uh, yeah. you put uh, all, all yeah. your thing inside. It's yeah. a, a small, a small one, but uh, yeah. it's my favorite for traveling. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because uh, if I if I can, for example, if I travel by car, I have a Korg radius is a four octave, and uh, yeah. you you can yeah. play you can yeah. play chords and solos uh, yeah. with the yeah. with the, yeah. <laughs> both your hands and yeah. better. Yeah. But if you want to perform, yeah, yeah. So that's it. Okay, cool. Um, have you messed around with the push at all? Uh, sorry. Have you messed around with the push, the Ableton push, the controller, the push? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, yeah uh, So in also, the controller. Yeah. You mean you mean what what I do on the controller? No, no, no. The Ableton push. You know the Ableton push. No, no, I, I, oh. I have no. I have oh, no. you must, you must check it out. It's very interesting. Yeah. It's very, very yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah. I it's, have to uh, look for it. It's like a um um, they've they've created a, a new way to play the keyboard. So instead of playing linear like this, you now can yeah. play like this. You see, you must check oh, okay. it out. It's very interesting. Cool. So yeah, very Ableton interesting. push. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you no, must check I'm, it. I'm missing. I miss. Yeah, it. yeah, you must. No, you must check it. It's 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 a really good controller, and it's got a ribbon on it. And it's um, um, when you touch when you touch one of the knobs, it comes up on the screen. Whatever you're touching. Ah, okay. So it's interactive. So you must. Yeah, you must, wow. you must check it out. Wow. It's, it's an Ooh. interesting one. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, uh, sure, I'll do. I'll yeah, do. you must check it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I have a a, a a novation similar to what your oxygen is. Um, ah, okay. Uh, a little 25 key innovation, yeah, similar, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I'm not really performing live at the moment. I, I, I have, I'm starting a band with a friend of mine, but we will do psychedelic, but more band based. But yeah. when I when I play, I DJ. So yeah, I'm using tractor. Okay. Or, okay, or okay. I can play on CDJs as well. I also so, started on on yeah, vinyl like you did. Mm, yeah, yeah. I can also play with yes. CDJ, but yeah, yeah. you know when you use the CDJ. Uh, you have to put on time and synchronize the track. Yeah, yeah. But, and limit. but because y yes, yes, I can do with four decks. Yes, I am yeah, be yeah, able yeah, to do yeah. with four decks. But yeah. if you if you stay on the deck, you you can't go for the sense because your yes. hands uh, are yes. on the deck. Yeah, and uh, you are, I want to be free to make more. Perfect sense. Yes, yeah, that's yeah. my choice. Yeah, that's yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I like to, I like to on tractor use a lot of the effects as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Also, I find on the on the turntables or the CDJs, it, it becomes limiting because you're too busy on the exactly like you say, you become too busy yeah. on the yeah. yeah exactly 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 you are busy to to yeah. do things on the deck and you are yeah. missing. Thing else, and yeah, I feel the, the same. Yeah, I feel the same. I yeah. love to do my DJ set. Uh, 20 days ago, I make a DJ set uh, not far from my home with yes. three turntables uh, and okay. uh, the real vinyl, all the yeah. vinyl techno, and yeah. uh, was very, very 
funny. It is fun, it's but it's different. Completely huh? different. Uh, completely different. Yeah. Completely and when you push the track, uh, yeah. 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 yeah, 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 it's completely oh, different. Yeah, very but, different. Uh, yeah. I, I. I like both. I like yes. both because yeah, it's, it's a different, uh, <laughs> it's a different way to do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, um, let's move on to the next. Ah, uh, wh- what has been your favorite performance live? Yeah. So, uh, so I I like all my performance be, because uh, um, I always try to do my best mm. for the people. Mm. Or yeah. the organizer, because uh, uh, because I think that if you do music and if you go on stage, you have to be a pro. Yes, you yeah. you have to be a pro, and you have to give your maximum yeah. as possible yeah. for the people and for the the organizer. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, so, but uh, and I enjoy enjoy every time I go live and I mm. go on stage. Yeah. But if I if I have to choose what's my best performance, so for sure uh, the the last twenty five, the last uh, um, July twenty five, yeah, uh, <laughs> here in Italy, yeah, uh, yeah. there was a, a big party, yeah, and for me it was the first party after the pandemic. Yes, one yeah. year and yeah. seven months of stop. Mm-hmm. Completely stopped yeah. and closed, yeah. closed yeah. in the studio yeah. and uh, you know i i went to, to this party and uh, when i when i go on stage went on mm. stage when i went on stage i found mm. 1300 people ah, <laughs> around the stage that's beautiful six yeah. o'clock in the six o'clock in the morning and you know ah. the first time the first time uh, after many many months of stop yeah. and that's yeah. what's my best, I think. Because yeah. yeah. It's, it's oh, that's wonderful, amazing. Wonderful. I, amazing. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm wow. playing also early tomorrow morning at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning on my birthday. So it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I think <laughs> it will be the same. It will yeah. be the same yeah. on yeah. your birthday. <laughs> yeah, I'm very excited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, I mean, yeah, also, yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm I've only played once this entire year, and it wasn't a big party. It was at a friend's house, a birthday party as well. So this is the first kind of outdoor festival I'm playing at, yeah. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Wow. For your birthday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it blast. Amazing. Yeah. 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 For, For sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I'm excited. And, uh, so... Uh, so I think that this kind of experiences yes. uh, uh, will be with, with us for for all the rest of the life. Yeah, yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, yeah, and uh, I think uh, uh, it could be a kind of inspiration for the mm. future produce, uh, produ- yeah. production or for the future performances. I don't, yeah. don't know. And I think also with social media, it's kind of become like a journal. So now we have a record of yeah. all of our performances yeah. and there's videos and there's, there's recordings. It's, it's amazing. I think yeah. um, it's become amazing. Like we can, we can perform our lives that become a performance. And so now tell, tell us some of your experiences traveling because I know you've traveled a lot. So uh, yes, that's a funny question because uh, I think the 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 best experience for me about traveling it was uh, uh, my my last tour uh, two years ago before the mm-hmm. pandemic just before yeah. the pandemic in Japan yeah oh nice because I went I went in Japan to do a tour of two dates uh, yeah. two gigs I had two gigs and. Uh, yeah. So okay, long travel, twenty-four hour. But for mm. me, it was the first time, and uh, and you know, during the flight, you have a lot of time to yeah. think, to uh, to put your idea in your laptop yeah. about sounds. Yeah. I mean, yeah. and yeah. Uh, was very very good. And then, okay. and then, uh, um, I want to tell this uh, here in Italy. 
when yeah. I was young in the early 80s, yeah. uh, we watched two, two Japanese cartoons. Yes. Japanese anime, no? Yeah. yeah. It, it was, the TV was full of Japanese anime. And yeah. I, I liked yeah. so much. Yeah. And when you go in Japan and <laughs> you look at the landscape or uh, at the shape of the houses or, uh, yeah. you know, what, what, yeah. what you're thinking for. So <laughs> you immediately realize that, oh, wow. I am in the cartoon. I yeah. Am the cartoon. <laughs> I am yeah. in two. Here, yeah. everything is the same of the cartoon I remember when I was a kid. Wow. And, well, funny. Wow, that's funny. Awesome. And then, what, what uh, the worst, the worst experience is for me. So, I remember that one of the first gig I made when mm. I was young is uh, when I was 18. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, when uh, when you was very young, uh, so, I mean, for me, uh, I was without money and yes. uh, I was without car. So, yeah. so I asked for, for the car to my grandfather. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, he had uh, an old car, I remember, a Renault yeah. 4, uh, yeah. 25 years old. And so... Yeah. I, I, uh, an old, a very old car. Yeah, so, yeah. Here in Italy, in the middle of July, it's yeah. so hot. The world. Yeah. So f 40 and more, 40 degrees yeah. and more. And we took, we take, we took this car and let's go to the gig, one of the first little party, no? Yeah. And uh, with my friends Matteo, I remember. Yeah. And then we take this car and in the middle of the highway, the engine <laughs> lost <laughs> yeah. because yeah. because the li the liquid cooling because yeah. the liquid cooling and I remember we we had f five bottles of water yeah. and then yeah. pour on the engine and then let's go for the next twenty kilometers yeah. and yeah. then <laughs> the temperatures <laughs> come up again and then yeah. you pour but yeah. at the end we we got the gig. Okay, oh, that's nice. the funny experience for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah breaking experience. down is never fun. Yo, it's never fun, <laughs> never ever fun. Yo, and and I'm sure that, yeah, this. I mean, I've had so many experiences where things have gone good and things have gone bad. Like, but we had one, one, one lady here, promoter when I was here, who used to go and put parties in the bush, like far in the bush wow. somewhere. But then she would go in the day and she would work out directions for people and she would say, yeah. so, and then you would come at night to go to the party and you can't see. <laughs> so she tells us, at the big rock, turn right. Yeah. We're like, Where is the big rock? Where is the big rock? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, we got so lost. Eventually, we have the window down and we're listening. Oh, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, go that way. Go that way. <laughs> <laughs> old school dancers yeah. because yeah, yeah. because yeah. before Google Maps, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the only one way to find the party was yeah, yeah. It was crazy, now. crazy times. Yeah, people don't understand that. Like trying to find the place and 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 not knowing where you're going. Yeah, and the early days of raving was the same when when people would only give directions on a telephone call and, and yeah, or you had to ask your friends where we're we going and nobody knows where we're going until the party organizer text or whatever. Even before text, wow, it was yeah. crazy time. Crazy I time. remember some time, 20 years ago, uh, Yeah, didn't find the party sometimes. Yes. Sometimes you didn't find the party because you're mm. searching for the, the way, you're searching for the party. But at, mm. not, at night time, uh, where is, where is, what? We, don't, yeah. we didn't listen to anything and then come, come home, yeah. <laughs> come back. Yeah. 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 It's so frustrating. Happens, yeah. <laughs> uh, I remember just the joy of when you actually find the party and everyone and you walk out and you get out the car and you hear the bass drum and you're like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. We got it. Um, something interesting, which you might know too, is the reason uh, originally that the Cytron's kick was so mid-based, like clack, 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 was because it would 
cut through on any sound system. Doesn't matter how bad the sound system was. <laughs> the kick yeah. drum would cut through, clack, 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 clack. <laughs> with the attack, you know. Yeah, with, yeah, with yeah, the yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the yeah that's maybe, there. maybe, you know, uh, because uh, our year yeah. uh, became, became to learn the sounds of the yeah. room or of the, the landscape, what you, what you want. Mm. So if you try to do your kick and then uh, think you have one, 148 BPM, for example, yeah. Yeah. and in one minute you have 148 kick. Yeah. Try, try to, to, to think how much, <laughs> how many, sorry, how many kick you listen in four hours of studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and, and your ear become to become to equalize the, yeah. Yeah. the room, the, and then uh, I'm losing I'm losing the kick, the kick yeah. drum, but yeah. not the kick drum entire. I'm losing yeah. the attack, so maybe yeah. I have to put a little bit upper, uh, uh, and then that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. Uh, working in the studio is a different kind of. It's very different. I mean, when you go to a big party and there's a big sound system, um, it's great because you hear everything clearly. But when you start to work in the studio and you listen too loud and then you start to, your ears start to um, customize, yeah, it becomes yeah, different, different. I think, I think the trick when you are in the studio and uh, if you want to do uh, long sessions, yeah. you have to put your volume Volume soft. You have to put your volume not louder. Yes, yeah. Like yeah. like a normal conversation. Mm. If you mm. want to, because you can, as a human, you can conversate for ten hours. Yes. yes. Yeah. But yeah. but if you try to listen music loud at yeah. loud, yeah. Your here become become yeah <laughs> yeah crazy crazy yeah. Um, somebody taught me many years ago, um, my boss is a very good uh, sound engineer, yeah, and um, yeah. he taught me, if you if you listen softly and you can still hear everything, your mix is right. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, sure. And a lot of kids these days that's, don't get that's that. The you know? Yeah, that's the yeah, truth. yeah. Yeah, a lot of kids don't get that. They, they will listen loud and then they, and they start to hurt the ears and stuff and it and and that's where a lot of people get uh, tinnitus from where they get ringing in their ears because they're listening too loud for too long yeah so you have to be careful i think it's the mindset because mm. when you are in the studio you want to produce your music and you yeah. uh and you have to go for the right approach yes Slow, yeah. Uh, yeah. soft volume and yeah. then put your mind into the production yeah and when you are at the party, it's completely different. You have to perform and maybe uh, use the, uh, the how do you call the Earplugs. Yeah. Or and headphones. And maybe push push the volume up because yes. when you perform, you have to feel the music you have to feel it, on yeah. your body, not only on your ears. And yes, yeah. But save, please, guys, save yeah. the ears. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's very important. Be, be careful with your ears. Um, I was when I was younger. I've got a Novation Nova. It's it's it's, it's the little desktop version of the Supernova. You remember? I've got a little yeah, one. And, yeah. And I had my headphones plugged in, and I was playing with the bass, and I smacked my right ear badly. Yo, uh, and and it, I hurt my ear. And then I had to wear earplugs for years after that to 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 heal it. You know, you can. When you are young, you, you have to learn. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. That's true. Well, Tony, thank you very much for your time, oh, and I appreciate wonderful. it. It's been no. lovely to talk to you. And your English is amazing. You don't have to worry about your yeah, English. Your English, English is oh, perfect. So I am worry. I worry about my English. Ah, you because, don't have to worry because you can, uh, usually, you know, uh, usually yeah. uh, you speak in your native language. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. No, you your English is perfect. English. We can we can understand you perfectly, and and really, yeah, perfect, and. But, you don't have to worry about your English. It's perfect. Perfect. <laughs>
Thank you, thank you so much, Chris. And yeah, also, no, I appreciate thank you so your much time. for inviting, for inviting yeah, pleasure. me. Yeah, pleasure. Anytime. You, you and have... also, I have to say thanks for posting on your website. Yeah, anytime, uh, anytime. Your music is. <laughs> I will send. I will send uh, some new stuff, and uh, maybe uh, you you can tell what you think about because yeah. I'm trying to to mix different kind of stuff and put. Yeah. In, everything inside the track yeah okay because cool. because before before uh to be dj i was uh i listened to many many rock music in yes. the 80s yeah, yeah in the 80s and early 90s yeah, yeah. and uh, i have rock music inside me and, and i yeah. to try to to do uh something good for me yeah, yes, yeah. <laughs> i heard in uh in the live stream you did um some nice guitar there was a nice guitar in the one piece and you yeah. play guitar? Was it you? No, and no, I didn't play guitar, but I play guitar as by plugging. With uh, my uh, okay, okay, oh, okay, cool. Because yeah. it was a nice tone on the guitar. I really like the tone. So I've been working in studios my my most of my adult life since I was 24, I think, in a professional studio. So to get yeah. a good guitar tone is hard. It's very hard. Uh, yeah, because because yeah. Uh, I. I I know that I yeah. I can't uh, I can't play guitar. I'm I'm yeah. not be able yeah. to play guitar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, I am be able to play piano and yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, technology. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah, Ableton has made it a lot easier. Yeah, no, I like it. I like the performance aspect of Ableton too. The way you can trigger stuff and the way you can. Yeah. You can play your arrangement live if you want, and you can set your verse and your intro and your chorus. Yeah. And you, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that's that. it. Yeah, that's it. Well, uh, grazie. <laughs> thank you very oh, much. <laughs> thank you to you. Yeah. Thank you to you, Chris. I'm yeah. very, very happy to meet you for the first time, and yeah, maybe same. keep keep in contact with yeah, you. Stay for sure. in contact for new yeah. new things or yeah, yeah. or new stuff. I don't know. And we and, must bring uh, you here to play too. We must tell Grant he must bring you to a Vortex sometime. You haven't been here before, oh, huh? <laughs> I don't, don't know. <laughs> you haven't been to know. South Africa before, have you? No, I never okay, been cool. in South yeah, we must, Africa we must, before. Uh, we must bring you. I, I, will, I will start to make plans. If Oh, cool. <laughs> if uh, it will happen, it will yeah. be my first time. Yeah. Yeah. Also, but yeah. Uh, okay. but uh, at the moment, I'm focusing on the studio because yes. here in Italy, uh, we have yes. no regulation, as I told yeah, you. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I possibly. understand. Yeah. We've, we've been similar here. Yeah. So, but it's starting to open up again, and I'm excited. Yeah. So, have and a wonderful I weekend. Also, I also organize uh, parties uh, when will be possible because uh, yeah. <laughs> now the pandemic stopped everything. Yeah. But uh, I, I also organize party and lineups and yeah. keep in touch. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Touch. Take it easy and uh, uh, enjoy your afternoon and have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so Thank much, you. Chris. And Cheers. Also, <laughs> also for you, uh, have a nice birthday. Because no, thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate it. Um, so, how how old are you? I'm turning fifty one. Believe it or not, fifty one. Fifty. Fifty one. Yeah, fifty one. Fifty one. Wow. Yeah. You are. You you look like a kid. <laughs> you look like a kid. Yeah. Yeah. Trust, trust me. I'm forty two, and I was yeah. thinking maybe Chris has uh, yeah, forty two, forty three. Uh, uh, no, it's the music that keeps me young. It's the music. <laughs> the music that keeps me young. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And then, so what I'll do is once I've um, edited the video and stuff, and, and then I'll send you a copy and you can check and see what you think because it looks great. Your studio looks good. Everything looks good. The sound is good. Everything is good. So, so okay. yeah, I'll send it to you and then and then we can check it out and then I'll put it up on my channel and you can share it. Wow. Wow. Okay. Thank you so much, Chris. Take it easy. Yeah. Yeah. Much respect. Okay, man. Cheers. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs>